Hi guys, Bran here and welcome to another commentary video. Today we're going to be talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which came out yesterday. It had its release day yesterday and we played it for a full eight hours on stream. So I kind of want to give my day one impressions of what I feel about the game, what I like about it. And honestly, I was going to talk about what I don't like, but I don't know if I really dislike anything. Just weird. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is kind of a blast. It's made more in the vein of Friday the 13th, which is because they're made by the same devs, Gun Media, that made the original Friday the 13th, which originally played, uh, made that game to play out more like a fun party game and not something that was meant to be optimized or for people to sweat and play very intensely. And for the most part, that kind of comes through in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I think that fun always was and continues to be their main focus when it goes through through playing this that's what they said in that little interview that they had before the game actually released they're not going to worry about balancing that sort of thing too incredibly much because they want to focus on keeping this a party game and not letting it become some sort of sweatier fare which dvd often becomes and i man do i have fun in this game i was literally hitting rematch after rematch after rematch after rematch and i wasn't even thinking about it on fridays uh, i usually stream only like five or six hours but i streamed a whole like eight something hours because i was just hitting rematch hitting rematch hitting rematch because the game is that fun and that crazy fun i was having that good of a time playing this game that i was just hitting rematch all the time and i wasn't even thinking about there would be times where i'll be trying to invite somebody to my uh to my killer team because you, you know, when you're playing the family you can have up to three people which is super fun and the most unique and cool thing about this game is that you can play killer with your friends which is just awesome and it's what i did literally all day and it was super fun it was super great um there's a lot of diversity and what you can do on the killer side you can be big tanky bubba who can put people down really quick but has no chase ability of his own and kind of gets stuck on things like ladders and that sort of thing uh and can't really you know maneuver as much uh my favorite is johnny johnny's my favorite because uh i love tracking um the person i played mostly who was like when you know my main in the beta was cook which was formerly the only tracking character in the game now i play i uh, johnny has come out with the release and i love johnny to death because he has tracking uh, but he also has uh, good endurance and he has a little bit of savagery. So he's like, he's kind of like a jack of all trades. He kind of does a little bit of everything, but he's the master of nothing. And I like having that utility to help the team with his footprint tracking. But also like if my team uh, so decides to ignore my, my call outs and that sort of thing, I am not a useless character and I can go like, you know, I can go beat him up and try to get him myself, um, which is really, really cool. Also, Sissy came out with this um uh with this uh uh release of the game as well and sissy is more of like a trap killer a la hitchhiker but she can actually trap like personal items that the uh that the uh, victims would be trying to use like their healing options are uh i don't even i don't want to call them potions it makes it sound like dungeons and dragons but like their little uh, healing vials and stuff they can they can uh poison those so she's unique and she's interesting uh, but like I said, Johnny's the one that fits like a glove. I love Johnny the best, and I played him almost eight hours straight. Just took a break to play Cook sometimes. Took a break to kill Sis or kill. <laughs> took a break to play Sissy sometimes. Uh, but I was mostly just on Johnny because it was super fun. Um, there's been a lot of quality of life improvements from the beta, like all generators are on. So the only thing you have to turn on at the beginning for uh, the family side is the car battery. And that's usually uh, where Hitchhiker or Sissy spawns. Sometimes, sometimes Johnny spawns near it, like on the uh, the actual like Sawyer house, uh, Johnny spawns near it. But like, yeah, I don't know the idea. But just it was just fun today. It was just fun. Coordinating with randoms was uh, not awful. Not awful. That was one thing that I was afraid of was that like coordinating with randoms on family would be incredibly difficult and make a lot of my matches miserable just because of bad randoms. But it really happened. I don't know if I just got really lucky and I never got any bad randoms. Uh, but like I just I, I mostly had a good time and we were able to just you know make the most out of that situation and i just i never had that feeling like i do on dbd where i'm like i'll, I'll be solo queuing and i'll just get a really bad team and it's just super miserable and i'm having a bad time and then i'm upset you know like that didn't really happen that uh didn't really happen so i was pretty happy with that i was pretty happy and then when i actually started squatting with my friends oh my gosh it was so funny the hilarity of hanging out with your friends but also playing killer just chef's kiss just so entertaining so fun and it just it was just great all around. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's very thrilling, the flow of gameplay. Like, 
bouncing off your friends. Like, oh, hey, there's Connie down in the basement. You go down in the basement and they're like, okay, well, I lost her. I'm like, no, no, hold up. Uh, I'll look around for a footprint. And then I walk over and I look down and I track the footprint. I'm like, okay, she's heading this way, you know? And then we try to get back on her trail. And it's like, there's just that camaraderie. It's just, and that, it's just, pl it's just good. It's just like camaraderie feels good. Playing together feels good in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Playing together feels good. Like, I don't want to avoid people. I want to, I want to utilize them. I want to play with them. I want to, I want to, you know, play alongside them. Like, it, it's actually something that I don't want to avoid, whereas, like, Dead by Daylight, I kind of, like, don't want to be around my randoms because who knows if they're going to sandbag me or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hang out with them. I don't want to be around them. But in, in Texas Chainsaw, I, it's, it's fun. It's fun to cooperate. And that's really, really cool. And it makes it really great. It's kind of the flip of Dead by Daylight, where it's like, Survivor is more like the together. Everybody's got to pull their weight. Uh, that's with that's what family is. Because if your tracker's bad or not giving out comms, you're gonna have a hard time finding these guys. You're gonna have a hard time finding the victims. Or like say if your Bubba just like just completely like you get a bad string of Bubbas who just don't put out a lot of early pressure uh, or don't help you in chase, and then that's that's gonna be a problem. Like it's just it it, it family is the part that easier falls apart without um, that uh, cooperation. But, but like I said, I never, I, not in my hours I played it, I run out of time where I was like, oh, okay, gosh, this is so terrible. You know, like I was just, it was slightly more annoying sometimes, but like for the most part, it was just mostly just fun. Most people listened. This game has voice comms. So, and most people did have a mic. So like, you know, most people were following that. So it wasn't like there was a lot of people that just were kind of like no miking and just running around, hanging out, doing nothing. And most people were communicating or at least hearing what I was saying and reacting to what I was saying. So the built-in comms is definitely helpful there. I don't know. It's just, it's just a really, really fun experience. I didn't want to turn it off. I had other stuff to do, like record this video, <laughs> which is why I ended the stream. I'm recording it right after. Um, but like, I would have I kept playing. I definitely would have kept playing. And I'm going to be playing this probably every Tuesday on my channel at twitch.tv slash here. Hey, if you want to hang out. Um, yeah, that's, I, I want to play this uh, and put it into my daily rotation. Or not my daily rotation, but my weekly rotation. Because I do love this game. I do think it's really fun. And it it never feels like anybody's sweating on you. I think the one time it felt like somebody was sweating on me. It was like there was like a four-man victim team who uh, they had similar names. And they like, they ran up and like they were doing the thing that you do at DVD. Where like, you know, you'll be at like shack window. And they're waiting to vault. So you can't commit one way or the other. Um, they were doing that with some of the uh, hideaway, hideaway spots, the breakaway spots that you can slip through. That, and I was just like, guys, can I can I get some help over here? Um, but even that, like, they made the um, the iframes you get while slipping through those uh, those slip away spots even less. So I can usually, if they play it kind of wrong and I mine and I mind game them correctly, I'm gonna get a hit. So that's good. And also, like, once again, most people were listening to comms, so. Um, if I asked for help, you know, nine times out of 10, somebody did come to help. So, and I, I the one thing I will say is I, I did not play victim at all today. I was having that much fun playing Johnny and playing family with my friends that I just kind of like didn't, uh, ever do that. I have heard from some of my friends that victim scenes way weaker than it was on the beta. Cause I was, I was dying to play family and I play family all day. So that's what I did. Some of my friends were dying to play victim which seemed way more fun and independent in, in the beta. And the people were saying it was way weaker. Uh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> um, I didn't notice that, that we were kind of laying into people, kind of laying into people. I think out of an eight hour stream, I think out of an eight hour stream, like collectively, probably had like five escapes. Mm, six, like six escapes. I got eight hours of play. <laughs> I had six people escape. I noticed that there was a lot of like, no, and I don't mean this to be offensive to anybody. I did notice a lot of more console gamers. A lot, especially in the in, in the evening before it became nighttime, a lot of console gamers who like playing the game probably super casually, have no idea what's even happening and just kind of turning on the game for the first time. Um, we were laying through people. We were, we were pretty devastating as a group. Um, so that's interesting. And I was hoping that it wasn't like the like a, a balance problem that like victim was just way too weak now. And like as the night went on, you know, a lot of the casual people went to bed and it was like more of the gamers that were still up. I know this match is starting to get harder. I was getting more like two or two outs or one outs. But still, that's like, you know, that's either a tie or a win, right? 
So I don't know. It may, it may be something to look at, something to keep an eye on. Uh, obviously, I will probably play Victim at some point, although I don't know when that'll be, because honestly, I love playing Family so much in this game that uh, you can't break me away from it, <laughs> really. I, I would be doing it unwillingly just for the sake of research and not because I want to, because man, I love playing Family with the friends. It's so fun. It's great. It's something that no other ASM offers, and I just, I just want to do it all the time. I want to do it all the time. Yeah, just that's just something to probably keep an eye out for is like, huh, maybe maybe something happened there with like the reduction of iframes and and something like that that made the flow of the game a little maybe on the family side, but I don't know. Like I said, I need that's probably something for you guys to also weigh in on because like I said, on my first day of play, I did not play any victim. I heard I just had people come in my chat saying that like, you know, family was really really strong it seemed like, and well, yeah, my stats kind of reflect that. Um, so yeah. Just let me know if you guys played it or bought it and played it today and you played Victim, what your experiences were. Um, in general, I think this game is more... I think this game is generally more, like, um, geared at the individual escapes because, like I said, Victim isn't really, like, a team role. It's kind of, like, every person for themselves. Um, so that may be on purpose, but I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to weigh in and see. We'll have to weigh in and see. But yeah. All in all, if you're looking for a recommendation to buy, uh, to buy this game or if I like it, I love it. I think it's really great. It's really fun. It's really chill. Uh, very. It, it feels like a party game. It feels like a no-pressure game that you can just turn on, hit the rematch button over and over and over and not really think about it. And it's definitely worth the It's definitely worth the price tag. It's definitely worth the price tag. The price tag. I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of this. A lot of mileage out of this. I think the people out there, I've been seeing a lot of bad DBD takes on Twitter from DBD creators saying, well, I can't wait for this game to last two weeks. I think the game's definitely going to last way more than two weeks because... At its core, it's just a fun game where you just turn on the game, mess around, and that is something that DVD has not been in a very long time, and I don't remember the last time it was. Probably when I was too new to the game to understand how it actually worked. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's something an edge it has over DVD. And obviously, like I said, the ability to play killer with your friends is something you can't do in DVD, and I find that incredibly fun and incredibly exciting. So. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing this game. So it's definitely the last more than two weeks for me. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you guys enjoy Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or do you have some negative feelings about it? Let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, it's gonna be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye. <laughs>